why I don't listen to elders who don't listen. <laughs> Let me just unpack that just a little bit here. There's a story around the aging parents, the older parents who are stubborn, irrational, making up stories that you as a person on your threshold of 60 or your next 50 are having to deal with at the moment. And I think there's something to learn there for yourself as someone who's going to be intentional in becoming an elder. Now, remember this notion of older to elder. I've explained in a few other videos, but just a quick recap. Um, the, the O and the E, the, the O is sort of like a circle and just following it to an end point. But E has a suggestion of layering. And I think there's something here for elders that if you're not listening, then why would we listen to you? Uh, that's the point that I'm trying to r raise here. And you can learn about this because of your relationship with your parents. So let me just um, add a little bit more to this. One of the things that I realize is that there's two ears and one mouth. And therefore, if you listen twice as much as you share out, the better it will be because you'll be able to hear in the words of those that you are conversing with what's happening in their lives. Now, that can be with your parents, I appreciate, also with your children and, and grandchildren. So listening is such an important um, element of being an elder, to listen responsively. One of the great things about this listening is that you can then move into serving as a mentor, to serve as a celebrant or a weaver, because what you have is more opportunities to pick up the nuances and the sort of pie-in-the-face conversations about what's happening and therefore be able to find a way in which to deal with it. And there's a really important phrase I want to share with you at this point in time. When you tell someone what to do is different than when you share what's possible for them to decide. So you're in a position of life as an elder, this layering of what you understand, your lived experience, and to be able to leverage, I would actually say leverage, take the first E and put the O in and you've got leverage, to be able to share from your uh, being fully human, being natural, being authentic, is to understand that you're sharing from a place of guidance so the person who's listening to you can decide where they want to go, what they want to do. And to be able to have that as part of your way of being, that listening, can help you with your aged parents who may not be seeing the world of elder for themselves and maybe making up stories and being a little irrational in conversations with you. But if not, when you do encounter people like that, whatever the age, this understanding of two ears, one mouth, and being able to guide people in this listen responsively is an excellent way in which to live your extraordinary life. And there's a summary point here that others who see and feel that you've listened to them is also a great way for them to experience you when you share. And I leave that with you as a, as a thought moving forward because at the end of the day, isn't it wonderful when someone feels as they've been heard? And that's what you're able to do as an elder. That's one of the gifts that you offer is that you listen responsively. If you like what it is that I'm sharing and uh, you want to share it yourself, then please uh, like, comment, share this video, ring the bell so you receive more notifications about what's possible. And again, comment below. I would enjoy your thoughts about do you agree or disagree with what I'm sharing? Is there something you would like to add in terms of edit, alter, delete? Uh, this is a conversation I'd like to um, engage with you. I don't necessarily have all the correct answers, and I'm learning as I go as well. And 
I know that one of the things that I have really honed in on is the importance of listening responsively.